Hello guys, this is Code in Code and this is 10th lecture of Queries on Tree course. In this lecture, we are going to see how we can apply a uh, segment tree or fanbit tree for subtree and path queries. Okay. So the lecture goals. So in this lecture, I'll give you a high level idea how uh, the range query techniques like prefix sum, uh, uh, fan victory and segment tree can be used to answer path and uh, the queries on tree like path queries or the subtree, subtree queries. Okay. So uh, I'll explain you all of these ideas with certain examples. Okay. So this is the first example. This is the first type of question that you can solve using those range query techniques on tree. Okay. So first thing is, suppose you are given a tree and you have Q queries of two types. First, update the value of node to X because each node is having certain integer value. Okay. So we have to update the value of node V to certain value X and then find the sum of values in subtree of V. So what we are doing here is updating the value of certain node and then finding out the sum of values in a subtree of certain node. Okay. So how you can solve this problem? See this is actually a point update right and this let me tell you see all of the query, query uh, techniques that i'm talking about range query techniques like prefix sum or fan victory or or segmentary all of these techniques work on a uh, linear data structure like uh, i mean on array right but tree is a non-linear data structure so first of all what we have to do we have to convert the non-linear data structure that is tree to a linear data structure that is array how we can do that of course here we have to apply a technique that we have already studied that is euler tor technique ett or tree flattening in a simple word okay so first of all we'll apply euler, euler tor technique which is nothing but simple dfs i've already explained in the same course how you can apply it uh, att okay after that the tree will be converted in a single uh, in a simple array now, since this is the array we are talking about, we can apply point update and range sum. Now, uh, see the to find the subtree sum, what we can do, we can apply range sum. And range sum, of course, we can uh, solve using fan victory or or uh, segmentary or even using prefix sums, right? If there are no updates. So, yeah. Uh, first of all, what we'll do, we'll flatten the tree. So on these kind of problems, you can flatten. Uh, in fact, on all of all of the problem where we have to apply range query techniques, we have to flatten the tree. After that, this is a simple node being updated. So it is a point update, and then this will result in range sum. Okay, how I'll tell you in the next lecture. Now, second type of problem that you can solve using these techniques is this: you have to update value of node v to x the same kind of uh, query in the previous example and then you have to find the maximum value in the subtree of node v again the subtract value again you can solve this problem using segmentary this is again the point update and this is range maximum how i'll tell you again in the next lecture just just, just to give you an idea what kind of problem you can solve okay this is just to explain you what kind of problem you will be able to solve after learning all of these techniques, right? Now, uh, third type of problem is path query. You see here, uh, of course, the first type of query is same. And the second, you have to find the sum of the values on the path from A to B. Again, tree flattening and again, ETT. And again, since you have to find the uh, sum of the path, from node A to B, you can either apply segment tree or fan victory. And fourth type of problem is like, I mean, these kind of problems, all of those which can be combined together to form result of a bigger range. All of those queries can be answered using segment tree, right? Same again, the first query is same. For the second query, we have to find the ZOR on the path from A to B. Again, this can be solved using segmentary or prefix, prefix, or uh, sorry, segmentary or or fan victory after flattening the tree. And now you might be thinking, since we are up, applying uh, segmentary, is it same as HLD? That is heavy light decomposition. The answer is no. We don't have to apply heavy light decomposition here. Without using heavy light decomposition, we can, we can actually solve this problem. You you don't even need to apply segmentary. 
uh, you can directly apply a uh, fan mic tree which is much easier to work with okay that also uses only linear uh, linear uh, space as compared to uh, segmentary i mean segmentary also uses linear space but the problem is uh, it uses much more space as as compared to the array size itself so yeah these are the type of problems that we'll be able to solve using fanwick or segmentary or prefix sum on tree to answer path or range uh, path or subtree queries in the next lecture uh, i'll be uploading the next lecture either tonight or tomorrow in the morning and we'll be learning about the first example okay uh, this problem we'll be learning about this how we can make a point update and then find the sub uh, some of the values in the subtree of node v okay so yeah this was all for this lecture this was just to give you an idea that what kind of problem you'll be able to solve after learning all of these techniques so uh, if you have any suggestion of all problems uh, related i mean related pra uh, practice problems you can post it down in the comment section so this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching and till the next video drops keep coding thank you